Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Friday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, it is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to uh, to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, He did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in prison. He brought back, or he brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When the disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Well, here in Mark's gospel, we have a flashback. We hear Herod uh, finding out about Jesus' ministry and the fact that he and his apostles are making a huge impact in the area where he is tetrarch. And uh, his father, Herod the Great, was over all of Galilee, Judea, the entire area. But When his father died, the properties were distributed among his sons, and so Herod was given about a fourth of the kingdom, which is why they call him a tetrarch. And Herod had also uh, taken in to be his wife, the wife of his brother Philip. So Herodias was basically committing adultery and um, lining up uh, marrying the brother of her first husband. So she marries Herod, and John the Baptist, in hearing about it, challenges and condemns this particular act. And it was for that reason that John was placed in prison. He wasn't placed in prison because he had been preaching the good news about Jesus. He was put in prison because he had condemned the marriage of Herod. And so What we have here is now Herod the Tetrarch paralyzed in fear that the one whom he had executed had come back to life, and that had to be scary for him. So he ended up with his uh, his, uh, executioner uh, taking the life of John, because of the greed and uh, the hatred of Herodias for John the Baptist. 
It took place after a big banquet. And there we have uh, Herod entertaining his military officers, some of the prominent people of Galilee, which is part of the area where he was tetrarch. And he was kind of showing off everything. And one of the things he did was have Herodias' daughter, his stepdaughter, uh, actually dance for the people. And she must have been absolutely uh, an amazing dancer, something that just uh, took everybody's breath away, including her stepfather. And so Herod was so taken with what she did, he made a rash promise, probably built on uh, drunkenness, uh, pride from the people around him. He was showing off and basically said, I'll give you everything up to half of my kingdom. So what does she ask for? John the Baptist to be executed. I want his head. And so by pride, afraid to be made a little of in the sight of the people with him, Herod fulfilled the request of this daughter. And the request, of course, had come at the request of the mother. That's what The daughter just went to the mom and said, what do you want me to ask for? And here's what she did. She said, you know, I want him dead. He condemned what I did. I want revenge. And so John the Baptist's head was placed on a platter after the executioner had beheaded him in prison and brought it back. And it was at this point again the disciples came and took the rest of his body from the prison and was able to bury it with proper respect. So all of this, it was spoken in retrospect. This was a flashback to something that had occurred earlier at a time just before Jesus' ministry had actually begun openly. So we have here again uh, an opportunity to see uh, the, um, the pride, the, the uh, lack of, of dignity for human life, all of the things that made up Herod's court and made up Herod's life. He uh, only cared about the things that were important to him. And the interesting thing is there was something deep down inside because he loved listening to John. Something, and I wonder if Herodias really saw Herod being taken in by John the Baptist. And one of the reasons that he wanted him executed was to silence his voice that her husband would no longer be drawn into what John the Baptist was saying. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen.